it is it is another thing like before we just worried about football and now we just like we treat it as like pros. And we can't use deals to distract us on the field. Like at the end of the day, you need to win, you need to play, you need to create stats and films so in order to get all these deals because they pay, they pay off your play. That's really, that's, that's a real truth. Like, we need to win to get more deals. You know, I just think don't play good, you can't get good deals. You know? when, you, when you see something like the report of the quarterback in Alabama making upward of a million dollars already, that must be a conversation. I mean, does it start to make you wonder what the possibilities really are out there? I don't really make me wonder. It's just, that's great. But like, for him to make six, seven figures, that's, that's what it is, right? Yeah, you're making, yeah, close to seven figures. figures. Like, I'm proud of him. Like, that's great. Like, that's a lot of bread. I just hope he gets, he's around great people to help him support, to, uh, like, fix the money, like, get the money. Don't, don't spend all nothing crazy. It's just hoping that he got good surroundings around him. You said a key thing. You said they treat us like pros. Like, you know, there is, I mean, even the way, you know, we write about maybe somebody who's in college versus somebody who's a 25-year-old professional is a little different. I'm wondering if... if, if People start making decent money or some money. The expectations, the pressure, does that change? So that's a surprise to change more. In a day, like I said before, like we expect to win. Right? You can't you're getting all this money and stuff. You winning, but you start losing. Nobody cares about you. That's a real reality. Man. So you just got to start winning. Like keep winning. Just keep doing what you got to do. Keep getting better as a player. Like, that's why we're really worried about this NIL deal because. At the end of the day, I'm trying to be a better football player. Make my, make my team a better football team. That's my goal, to go be a better football player. But I'm not really worried about this NIL deal. They're, they're going to come in the future at the end of the day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, talk about your uh, nomination to the Ben Rick Award and what that means to you preseason. Um, I appreciate the award. And it's just like, a, it's, it's a great award to be recognized around the country. And, we're still not done. Like, we still got a lot to go to go to get. Like, we still got training camp. We got a season. So that's what I really, that's what I'm really worried about right now. Just the training camp right now to get to the to get to finish like to start it. And just be you know, healthy, and have a great team. You have a shirt brand called O3. You want to talk about that for a couple minutes? Yeah. Like, I started that logo two years ago. Like, and it's been my nickname for 20 plus years. And my parents always tell me, hey, Brandon, trademark, trademark it. So I'm like, all right, I thought about it. And two years ago, I made a logo. I had to help making a logo. And I started like just trademarking it throughout the process. And I put it on a shirt, and I just started wearing it around. And a lot of people started liking it. So before the NIL, yeah, I just made a couple shirts. And I gave it to people, my family, and my friends are free. Just gave it up, gave it up. And they all loved it. Like everybody decided, like, oh, I love it. Can I get a shirt? Can I get a shirt? And it's just crazy how the NIL deal dropped. And I feel like we kind of. My store hit me up, and they said they want to they want to use buy my shirts and sell them. Like, All right, that's great. So I'm just great. I'm happy that um, Old Cape Store decided to like sell my shirts. Link is in my bio. I'm just happy for them. Happy for them. How has that process been for you? Just kind of learning all this new stuff and navigating what deals to do. They're really good. Coach was talking earlier about got really good you know, guys learning about income tax and things like that, and investments. What's it been like for you? It's really crazy because it's like having a real job. That's why I told you last reporter, like it's like you're in a pro. Like, usually when you get like a cost of percentage checks, it's not checks. You now you get an NIL deal checks. Go to tax. There's some stuff you don't even know about. I didn't know about the income tax. So you got to be careful how you use it. Feed everywhere. Uh, sorry if you're ever going to this, but can you kind of just take us through the decision to come back this year? And can you take us through the decision to come back this year and kind of what you like about what you saw? Um, it was not really a tough decision. It was just like, our, I kind of feel like I wanted to come back to get better as a football player, to get better as a leader, to know, know the plays more better. So I decided I just wanted to come back and just, you know, be, like, be a part of the, another great football team, you know, be another part. So well. What do you think this defense is capable of? Well, by working out with this, um, the defense, the whole, the whole winter workouts, spring ball, some workouts. Like we've, been, we've been doing great stuff every day. We're just grinding. We're working every day just to be better, just to be a better football team. So when we get to training camp, it's going to be a great, it's going to be a great, but it's going to be tough training camp. 
after the strides that you guys made last year? What's the level of kind of I guess excitement, enthusiasm, and how different is it from some of those previous years when things obviously weren't going the way? Every day we just work out. We grind every day, Monday through Friday. Like at the end of the day, we have fun with it. So Monday through Friday, we grind on Friday. in the way. Right? A lot of people dance. Teams that are really good. Why, why they dance? Because so we just had, just, we just had a tough so week, and we that's made it out, and we grinded. So they, we just celebrate at the end of the week every Friday. Just that's what, that's how we show it. That's how we show we love this game and the sport. We love, love this game. We love to compete. We love everything. Talk about Muhammad Toure and what he could be this year for you guys. Oh, you see what he did last year. That's, he is special. Like, I see him every day grinding, working. He's a special kid. Like he works every day. He, he's in the film room, watching film, trying to get better every day. And he's just like, you see what he could do. Like he's God. He's gifted. He's gifted right there. Like, and I'm just, I can't wait to see what he could do this season. Like, you see, I see what he did last year. Like, wow. You know, you, you all see it. He have, he have a gift right there. And I'm just glad he's working on it. What was it like last year not having fans to be in the stands? You had cardboard cutouts and whatnot. They don't make noise. But just what was it like? I mean, I, you guys probably don't pay attention to the crowd that much, but sometimes you feed off of it. Was it different? And if so, how different was it? Oh, a lot of you, if I, didn't, if I say it wasn't a difference, it's a big difference. Like, when you make a big play, you hear the little, you hear the noise, they make the noise. Ah, uh, it's all right. But, it was. It didn't like distracted me from the game. Though I was still focused on the game. But with the, with the fans now coming in, 100% capacity. Well, hopefully, this is sold out game, sold out crowd. The first game, so it's gonna be a big difference. Like high energy coming out the tunnel, just give. It's giving me goosebumps right now. Just. How at ease where you guys are in the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area? Just what's it like, you know, being on your campus and knowing that you've got that metropolitan area so close away to you? I'm from New York, so usually I go to New York once in a while. I go home almost every week to my parents. You know, I go to the city sometimes. I go to Philly sometimes. This is great week between Philly and New York. You can go anywhere. It's like you're right there. So. I'm, we're in a great environment right now. I think you'll have a moment in pregame when that first home crowd is kind of kind of soaking in a little bit, realize you know what may have lost for a year. Sure, it'd be nice to get that back. And I can't I can't wait for that. Just when I hear the first kick goal, I just want to grasp it right now. Like I'm getting goosebumps right now. Just the first kick goal, you know how to five, four, three. Just when the crowds get loud. I just can't wait for that moment. Basically, you, you can sign a name no, image likeness deal coach. with any brand of your choosing. Which one would it be? My brand? Any brand of your choosing. My brand. Oh, three. Fuck? Yeah, yeah, that's why I am. I always represent myself. You feel me? Thank you. I have a question. Who do you think is the most underrated guy in your team? Either, either side of the ball, it could be in terms of they haven't had a chance to play yet, or just they don't get the recognition that they deserve yet. We got a couple guys that that's underrated. That people think they underrated underdogs. We got a couple freshmen that that just stepped in like they just working right now and they just getting there. But we got a couple guys that's gonna like show out this season. Like they probably didn't they, do, they probably didn't do anything last last year. They're gonna show out this season. Oh three. Um, Coach said earlier that those three wins last year kind of gave a lot of guys optimism that you guys belong in the Big Ten. Do you kind of agree with that? And what do you kind of feel about what that season did? I feel that we just gotta grind every day, just work hard, and just we, we call this thing called chopping. You understand that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're chop. That's what we do. We chop every day. We don't have no distractions. Two wins from last year. We don't worry about two wins last year. We worry about what's, what we're doing now to get better in training camp.